What's up guys? So in this episode, I'm going to be talking about two things. I'm going to be talking about blockchain scaling and I'm going to be talking about how most of the ICOs are house of cards right now. So I just made a post. Uh, it was on Medium, it was on LinkedIn and soon to be on Huffington Post. I will make, I'll leave a link below this video so you guys can check it out. And what I want to be talking about today is the whole notion of how a lot of people are promising that blockchain is going to deliver this. In reality, blockchain can only deliver this right now as opposed to that. Okay, so there's two big issues right now. The first big issue is a scalability issue. For example, when you think of how a blockchain works, for example, Ethereum, which everyone's building their, their ICOs on, their ERC20 tokens. Ethereum runs roughly about 14 transactions per second per node, right? And with an ERC20 token, that is cut in half to, se to seven. Seven, uh, seven transactions per second. So let me ask you this. Imagine trying to run Facebook on that. That's not going to work. Imagine trying to run YouTube on that. That's not going to work. No big major company can be built on top of Ethereum as of today. So then when you see all these big ICOs that come around, like, hey, you know, we promise to do X, Y, and Z. I'm like, in reality, the technology is not there yet. And, and we have a long way to go before we get there. Like, you have to understand how these these open source tech works. For example, Bitcoin, Ethereum, how a decentralized open source blockchain works is literally every node, you know, every participant part of the network has to have the full copy, the full client, all the information of the blockchain. And any single time there's a new, say, iteration to it, they got to download and update it. So all these big, all these nodes are constantly updating a lot of data onto themselves and it's slow and clunky. A trade-off between having a decentralized open source platform like Ethereum and Bitcoin it's slow but security is good and censorship is good right so right now that's a big issue and we are I would say minimum two three years away before we see some legitimate scaling solutions for example we have plasma uh, for Ethereum but first we got to see proof of stake who knows how that's gonna go we have the lightning network with Bitcoin we I have no idea when that's not coming out that's gonna be at least a couple of years before we see the iteration of that coming up for God's sake we just had Segwit activate and there's less than 10% of the whole network using Segwit uh, then we have side chains such as Polkadot. That's a couple of years away from you know grand scale thing. The, the nearest thing that we have today for side chains is Cosmos, um, which is quite interesting project. So you know the reality is blockchain has a many many amazing benefits, and a lot of people are over hyping it. And the real and and the fact is it can only deliver this right now. It can't deliver all the promises right now. And that's why I think the majority of these ICOs are house of cards. They're built on technologies, first of all, that is not mature yet. We need time. We need proper engineers. We need people from academia to be focusing on very difficult problems. Problems like state channels, problems like proof of stake, problems like Lightning Network, problems like side chains like Plasma, problems like, you know, with Cosmos and Tendermint, etc. As opposed to just focusing on creating dApps, you know, these applications on top of the protocol. It's like me trying to build a roof on top of the house and the house is not there. That, that, that doesn't work that way, okay? So that's my little rant today. Uh, if you're looking at ICOs, please first pay attention to the underlying technology that's built upon, okay? I'll talk to you guys soon and peace.